In this video, I'm going to talk about crowing on the uh, on the double read for the oboe, um, and I'm going to also discuss how to play the first five notes of your C major scale, which are C, D, E, F, and G. Um, so first off, with crowing, um, you're going to want to make sure that your read is soaked so that you're going to be able to get it uh, get a proper sound and vibration out of it, and you want to be able to crow at a C. Um, so that is here. And of course, it's going to be higher than that, but. So like that's pretty much what we're striving for. Uh, so now to put it in the instrument, uh, we're gonna see if we can get the uh, first five notes of the scale out. Okay, so B flat is gonna be the bottom note. You're gonna have your uh, your first finger down and your second finger in your left hand, and then um, your first finger in your right hand. This is gonna look like something like this. Ooh, fingers kind of in the way. It's gonna look something like that. And in order to get C, you're just going to lift your uh, your middle finger in your left hand. And so then to get D, it's just one, two, three, one, two, three. But for this octave, you need to do the, the half hole on the top one. So not, not just here, but on the second little valve. And so to review those for uh, B flat through C, that's um, one, two, and one for B flat. One and one for C. And then one, two, three with the half hole on the first finger for D. So that's... For E flat, you want to drop your pinky on this bottom valve. That'll get it up a half step. And then for F, you just lift your middle finger in your right hand. They call this the fork fingering, I believe. Okay, so we'll go through that just one more time. So we'll play the scale from top to bottom. So that's B flat, one, two, and one. C is one and one. D is one, two, three, one, two, three, with the half on the first finger in the left hand. Drop the pinky in the right hand for E flat. And then lift your middle finger for F.